Dr. Barry Long of News. I'm really upset and angry, and I thank a current affair here in Melbourne for exposing a council in Hudson Bay here in Melbourne as being a bunch of heartless characters. They're Muppets. Councils in general are Muppets. They're, they're elected to represent a ward. That was okay back in the day when we had town clerks, deputy town clerks, and the councils had some say. But today's councils are nothing more than rubber stamps, Muppets. They used the term last night at the meetings at least five or six times. Oh, it's not lawful to allow people to live there. It wouldn't be lawful. It's lawful. Lawful and councils don't mix. They use the term legal because they're fiction. They're a private corporation, right? There was a couple of councillors there, a, a young female lady, lovely girl. She was on a current affair and she was standing up for the residents, which is nice to see and I should offer her a lot of support. It's a crazy world we live in. We have people gearing up for doomsday preppers, keyboard warriors, groups of people making money out of other poor unfortunate fools trying to learn to learn something. They've been taken for a ride down the road. Councils are convinced that they're local governments. So there's not much point arguing with them. They're actually convinced. They believe that there is a local government act. Now, an act should be on a stage. Hollywood is full of actors. Solicitors and barristers don't work for you. They act for you. The whole thing is an act. An act takes place on a court, a racket. They're giving you full disclosure. It's time to make a lawful stand and make it lawful through common law. So the common law court will get involved in this one, one way or the other, and we need your support. So get off your asses and help us, because these people need us to help them. Otherwise, they're going to be on the street. It was amazing to watch the meeting last night where they said, oh, the council, well, we're working with the state government and other bodies to find some alternative accommodation when they know there's none. So help us to help you. Watch the video and subscribe and spread it. Do something about it, guys. Let's get together and help these people. By helping them, we're helping ourselves because we've got to make a lawful stand. Sweet home. These families have lived in this neighbourhood for decades. Now, without warning, they're being booted out. People haven't been sleeping properly. I know I haven't. Um, just worrying about whether we're going to have anywhere to live. They won't answer the door. Can you imagine that they're afraid to answer the door? The letter says, get out. Get out of your home immediately. Apartments people have lived in for decades. Why now? I've been here 14 years. It was a complex originally built to house migrants and refugees since World War II. In the 60s, it became what it is today. An estate made a home by renters and buyers alike, year on year, in Melbourne's Williamstown. Yes, it's definitely a community. Now, suddenly, councils decided to enforce industrial zoning rules. The very rules it's chosen to ignore for more than 30 years. And kick Arnie, Lara, John and dozens more out on the street. For them to just abruptly enforce a, a, a technical colour on a map and tell people that they can't live in their homes anymore is just so devastating. Why are they doing it now? Techno Park Drive is technically an industrial zone, perched next to a fuel storage site that ceased operations in 2021. The tanks left empty. It was rezoned back in 1988, but the rezoning changed nothing. Residents continued to live there. Apartments were bought and sold. All the while, council have been... They've been turning your blind eyes. For 35 years, calling this place home was allowed, and now it's not, for reasons that are unclear to residents and landlords. Business owner John Link has rented out his block for 25 years, charging residents next to nothing. There's more to life than make, making money. Annie and my wife has been a carer for 30 years, and we see this as part of it, something that we can do for the community. At 87 years old, he's offered so many a fresh start and a helping hand, something he wants to keep doing. We enjoy 
uh, coming here and looking after them. The question is, why after people having lived here for decades, uh, do we suddenly have to stop living here? John and his family of four bought in Techno Park in 2017. What have your neighbours been saying? Everyone's been absolutely devastated. Everyone. People don't know what to do. Do you feel like the fight's only just beginning? Yep. That's, that's absolutely right. Tonight, residents are starting that fight with the help of Hobson's Bay councillor Daria Callender and a petition. I'm here to support the residents. Um, you know, a decision's been made. Um, and in my opinion, it's, it's just not fair. I've been one of the few people who have got a ticket to go to the council meeting tonight and I'll try and get some common sense going. The council admits it knew people were living on the site, but it doesn't know exactly how many call it home. Despite accepting council rates for years and payment for pet registration. It's disgusting of the council to have accepted commercial rates on these properties for over 20 years. Dean Hurlston from Council Watch. The council needs to use their pen, rezone this. As it stands, Techno Park Drive is owned as Industrial One, meaning it caters for storage, manufacturing and distribution. Residential use is prohibited under it. But Lara was able to purchase her two better advertised as a home office three years ago and live in it ever since. No questions asked. Council have accepted people living here for decades and we're not the only part of uh, Hobson's Bay where council have um, uh, have accepted people people living on industrial land when it suited them. And there are ways that the council can fix this. They have the power to allow us to continue living here. Yep, they're pretty determined, but the council says it isn't budging, telling us it won't be rezoning the land. Watch this space.